And finally, <laughs> the demo I always end my shows with. And usually, by the way, I have a methane uh, source just with the, uh, you know, gas jets in the room, the ones I hook up the Bunsen burners to. But being here, anyway, is it Brian? Right? Brian, and you up here. You didn't volunteer, but the person next to you volunteered you, so that's why he's looking all surprised. Just up on stage with me here. Because this is my methane mamba, and I don't have a source of methane, so I was hoping you could help me. <laughs> Did you have any baked beans recently? Last yeah. night at the barbecue, am I right? Mexican. Yeah. So you know what to do with this, right? Well, maybe. No, okay. <laughs> that would be mean. When I travel, I never go anywhere without my American, no, without my snow tube. <laughs> so I filled this with, a, with methane from a gas jet. Well, we filled it with methane this time from a methane cylinder because we couldn't control the rate from the cylinder. So you're going to help me now just by squeezing this. And it's obviously not been filled, but hold on, don't squeeze it yet. Let me get it hooked up here. Again, if I were doing this in the classroom, I would just hook this up directly to the methane gas jet but not having that luxury here, you're just gonna give that a squeeze and like just wrap your arms around and hug it. Give hard squeeze and there, okay. A little bit off there. Oop. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Did I lose some out of here? Go ahead and do it again. Okay, slow down, slow down. Oh. The problem was we were having the methane, these, these bubbles in the classroom just go straight up like this and from a wonderful column because methane's less dense. But when we were practicing ahead of time, it kept spilling over. Will we be able to get this to show? We'll see. Maybe. You're saying, why would it spill over? Methane's less dense. I'm not sure what was in the cylinder. I think it was methane, but it just wasn't behaving as well as it does. Well, that's, that's doing, you're doing well. Mexican food you had last night, apparently? Okay, paying off for sure. Okay, so as this big, huge column is climbing in my classroom, is that going to go up? When it goes over like that, it kind of looks like a snake. And that's where the term methane mamba, mamba is a snake. Yeah, it looks like one there. Keep doing what you're doing. I like it. Okay, you got just, you got just the right grip on that. Anyway, as this is going on, we talk about some of the physical and chemical properties of methane. Physical property of methane, the gas at room temperature. Another physical property of methane, less dense, colorless, and hello, odorless. That surprises them. Okay, they think that that nasty smells with methane is no. That's something the gas company adds. But then we get to the chemical properties of methane, right? And that's where it gets interesting. And let's look at some weighing down a little bit there, is it? Okay. Give a good squeeze there. See if we can't get a nice tall one. Look at it. It looks, looks like a snake, doesn't it? The air currents in the room, like a little do, 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 do. You know what I'm talking about? A little, okay. Okay, don't take offense at it. I'll, it's like, so I am going to, oh, that's right. I put it back here. Wet my hand. And that's more than anything else just to keep it from popping the bubbles. I'm going to scoop this off. And you guys have been a fantastic audience. Yes, you have. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, wait. Do not teach the curriculum and work your passions into the margins. Teach your passions and let them guide you through the essential questions. The kids in our classroom are infinitely more significant than the subject matter we teach. And finally, education is not filling a pail, but the lighting of a fire. Now, thank you.